Okay, here he comes. We're going to try and uh, capture this year jet dragon. Gun close to our trap. Let's let him follow us or do his attacks first. Do your attacks. Blah, blah, blah. Let's go down there. Come on. I'm right here. I'm right here. No, another attack. Blah, blah, blah. Let's get him to follow us. Come on. Let's wait a little bit more. Oh, he's through the wall. <laughs> yeah, they can attack you through the wall. He is stuck in that corner for some reason. He just doesn't want to get out of that corner all the time now. But there's nothing else I can really do to get him out of there besides backtrack. He's coming. There you go. Now we got him. Come on, run. Run, run, run. Make sure he has attention still. And a little bit farther. A little bit farther. Uh oh, a little bit farther. There we go. Now he's fallen into our trap. Took a little bit of a while there. Yeah, sorry about that. So we get him in our trap. Get you out of there. Build mode C. Uh, destroy the foundations. And watch him fall. And splat. There you have it. He's taking his fall damage. I don't know why he went over there so fast. But yeah, he got we got a weaker. Uh, hopefully we're on the right ball here. And he doesn't reset right away. Yeah, we got the right ball. And uh, there we go. Oh, he's on the other side of the wall. That doesn't matter. There you go. But yeah, fall damage, trap. Not too hard to get it going. He's still a little bit buggy as usual. Hey, 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 hey. And of course, we have to go through the old 20% uh, bullshit that we have to, you know, deal with. There we go. And then... Yeah, there we go. Capture him. <laughs> At least this time, we didn't take 10 million uh, go balls being used up. But yeah, but let's get right to it there. We captured the Jet Dragon. Pretty easy. Pretty reliable. Uh, just takes a little bit of a construction job uh, to get going and uh, start doing, basically. So it's not too bad, not too shabby. We get ourselves a nice, uh, super fast uh, jet dragon out of this little deal. Yeah, I mean, super fast. That's why I'm not using him. I, that's why I didn't use him for that, because he is just super fast. But let's get to the basics. It's a drop trap. It's nothing new. Uh, this uh, jet dragon, uh, he spawns in right here. If you didn't know where he is in the map, here he is right here. Way, way, way over here. Uh, you can stick a base over here if you want, but he spawns in right here. And if you hit him and you run away real fast, you can reset him. I've watched other videos, and uh, they don't work. Uh, maybe the, the updates have changed them. Uh, maybe they're just getting lucky, but I did see them, like, you know, have the jet dragon and die like you know five or six times before they actually got it right uh, but yeah I, I thought that was kind of crap and I want to do my own and better so I tried you know I tried making a trap down there with walls you know so he didn't you know level level playing field and walls but that didn't work he won't come up flying off the cliff he doesn't come off the cliff anymore uh, at least not reliably uh, to make it a useful video for in my opinion and standing on top of a rock and hoping that hoping he doesn't do an AOE attack on you to kill you like in two shots that doesn't work either this is a more reliable, nice, simple drop trap. You come up here, you just kite him up to here, and then you just fall down, and you, you know, as you see, you fell down to my little trap that I built up here, and then you destroy it, and uh, you're good to go. He falls down, and he's uh, dead. Uh, so let's get to the basics on how to build this, because that's part of the, that's like the main part of the video, is actually build this. I just wanted to show you, yeah, it, it does work. It does, it is not going to be 100% easy to get him to go. He'll get stuck in the little corner here. He might come over here. Uh, he might come up to here and just bounce off the wall and come into the lava. You have to reset him again if he takes too much lava damage, but he will come up here and follow you up your nice little ramp that you build and then onto your platform and then he'll just destroy your platform and then you, you make him fall and die. So yeah, uh, how to get started on this, of course, you have to be in the area over here and what I did was come over to this spot right here, as you can see, uh, this here uh, area right here, uh, all this rock right here, it's that sticking out uh, as a, a, like a landmark where those bones are right there. Uh, that's where I started because it's the highest point and you want to be able to put your foundations down so they can support your structures way above them and that's the main thing we only need two wide uh, we don't need all this extra space right here uh, as you can see two wide was enough i didn't need to make walls or anything like that uh, so we don't have to over over complicate anything all we need is a two wide path in the starting point so the starting point is to line yourself up from those bones and uh, in between there and uh you know put your uh, start putting your foundations down like i started right here because this is the highest point and i uh, wanted to uh, get the get them level right so they can actually build the foundations that's all the tricky point is and you can't build through these bones that's why i started over here thinking that i couldn't and i was going to do over here a uh, two wide but that's why i have it longer it's like going to two wide maybe four uh, four wide but yeah you can build a right over top of these bones it's not a problem because uh, the foundations are going to be uh, all everything is going to be above it so that doesn't matter so I, what I would do is I would just uh, come over here and line it up so it's a little bit, you know, 
a little bit over more and in between there if you're going to do a better job of it than I did and uh, make it simple. So just build foundation straight across. That simple. You come over here, you build your little walls that you have to start off your staircase and then this, this is as close as you can build to where the boss is. I'll take that. Uh, this is as close as you can get to him. Uh, maybe you want to start a little bit uh, you know, shorter than I did. Like if I wanted to go back and redid it, do it, I start my, I put my wall right here so I could actually, because uh, I can't build staircases here. I want staircases right here. This is always a bumpy part right here as you can see and sometimes you get stuck like not coming over top of that and I put staircases I took out these put staircases there and the same thing happened and I think this is a little bit more reliable for me but anyways a staircase is high you just build your staircases up uh, my staircase count is going to be a 15 to the very top uh, and 14 for the drop so yeah just 15 high in the staircases for the drop and once you get up to like you know the 14th the staircase high uh, we're going to delete this here because I destroyed that little part where I didn't want to destroy my bad but yeah we could have to build our foundations out here first and then we can go from there and uh, start building it out and then of course I have to destroy the staircase too because you know you can't build that right here if there's a staircase there that's uh, just the way it goes but we can just go back down like this and build our staircases like that but yeah the whole idea of this little lip right here is because he can fall down this little trap and this isn't really like any really fall damage he's a big guy so then he'll fall down here but then he'll get stuck and then he won't be able to go anywhere and of course we have a, a nice nice long distance uh put it as long as you uh, see fit of course uh just because you know you want to be out of range of his um of, of his uh you know is a long range attacks well that's the best way to say it uh, there's long range attacks and then you have uh right here so um you can go down over here and uh, this since this is like you know the 14th high at 12 high you can start building another way out right here right so this is a little platform to land on after the fact so at you know 12 high uh, you could put you know just build your little uh you know roof roofs and floors or whatever you want to call these things uh ceilings out over top of this place at 12 high and then you can build out here and this is where the trap part is right here and i destroyed that part by accident I could have just destroyed right here so you destroy those two right there once the or your your uh, you know, your, your dragon or whatever guy you're gonna use this drop trap on is uh, there and then everything else gets destroyed and he falls down to his death and uh, that is the uh, proper height I tried other heights uh, for myself you know I tried a 10 high but you know uh, that 14 high drop is what I have um, so that works perfectly for me and I've captured a whole bunch of these guys now uh, doing that uh, that I really didn't need to because I'm bringing the hell of them anyways uh, but yeah I just wanted to do this video to show you that you can do a nice easy reliable drop trap and not too hard to build it's just some stone it doesn't take too long to build like you know it doesn't take too long to build plop down foundations like you know a nice big long line of foundations that's not going to take you long it's not going to take you long to build staircases up high just go up you know to that 12 high build a lip and put more put uh, two more staircases high and then build another lip and then another staircases and then build it out on the bottom there uh that is it it's that simple uh there's not it's not rocket science fall damage has been used forever for killing these guys and then uh, there you have it uh, you just I, I like i got up here it was easily since since, since you get up there and dropped it you, you start losing combat and stuff like that for some reason but anyways all you gotta do is come down here real quick even if he's in, in combat and he's still hurting you just make sure you can uh, actually hit your buttons properly and uh, go there and destroy your foundations and capture the guy uh uh, there you have it. Uh, uh, hopefully this is, works a lot better for you for capturing these guys. If you wanted to make a trap system instead of actually going around and uh, putting a base nearby and summoning you know, your whole base to attack the guy in some big epic battle that's probably leggy as hell too. Uh, then all your guys keep dying and then you know, it's just, it could be a headache. Uh, you might be on a server. You just might want a temporary build type of a thing for yourself to get it done. And uh, you know, that's it. Come back after you know, you know, 30 minutes or so. He responds and do it again uh, to, you know, keep doing it to your heart's content. Get as all these uh, scrolls and some polymer and whatever else you're going to get off the guy and uh, have some, have fun. So, yeah, that's it for today. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or any comments, just go, go feel free to uh, leave uh, some comments behind, see if this works for you. Um, it's already saying it's not going to be 100% chance of getting him up here. He's like, you go get stuck on little areas. You might get stuck over here in this corner, but, you know, eventually you can wedge him out and if he takes too much damage from uh, falling back or getting into the lava and you don't like it uh reset them you just have to go far away from them after you've engaged them uh and that's it and he'll reset the full hit points and then you can try again uh it might take you uh, one try it might take you five but it shouldn't take you a uh, hundred times of him dying and wasting your time at least it, it, at least if that doesn't work he doesn't die you can just reset him and uh you're good to go to capture him and that's the whole goal is capture him not to kill some guy easily and uh there you have it so thanks for watching and i will uh, see you later